In this video, I'm going to run through a day in my life as a specialist antimicrobial pharmacist. What I want to focus on is the different aspects of my day and what it means to be an antimicrobial pharmacist. The first and most important thing I want to highlight is that the role of an antimicrobial pharmacist changes from different NHS trusts. So my job role could differ vastly from the job role of an antimicrobial pharmacist in another trust. The role of an antimicrobial pharmacist is a unique one and it's constantly developing. So my day normally starts about 8.30 a.m. and during the morning, I have to pick up the microbiology bleep. This microbiology bleep gives doctors or any healthcare professional the ability to contact the antimicrobial team. This allows healthcare professionals to contact me for microbiology advice, or whether they want to discuss the use of restricted antibiotics. Carbapenems are a perfect example of a restricted antibiotics and the use is restricted because they provide a very broad spectrum of activity and that's why they have to be used appropriately to avoid resistance. Today is my clinic day. So 8.30 a.m. I pick up the microbiology bleep and then I start virtually reviewing the bloods of patients that come into the diabetic foot infection clinic. This allows me to see how patients are getting on with their intravenous antibiotics and whether there are any changes that are required within the afternoon clinic. It also allows me to fill in the paperwork that would be required to complete during the clinic and it makes this process a lot easier during the clinic so I can speak to the patients more often. At 11am, I then speak to my colleagues within my team and they have conducted an antimicrobial ward round. What we usually do is capture all the antimicrobials that patients may be on, on an admissions ward. This allows me to review whether or not these antimicrobial choices are appropriate. And if I feel there is a better choice, I will contact the ward pharmacist as well as the ward medical team and discuss their antimicrobial choice. At 12 p.m., I now have a meeting with the consultant microbiologist. The consultant microbiologist has a wealth of antimicrobial experience and this allows me to discuss complex cases. A case in particular that I'm speaking about today is a patient with necrotizing otitis externa. This in short is a life-threatening ear infection and it requires at least six weeks of IV antibiotics in the majority of cases. What I wanted to discuss was the fact that this patient was treated for three months yet their inflammatory markers refused to improve. This can be seen with some cases of necrotizing otitis externa, and that's why we wanted to see if there's any other options that we could go for and what they thought about the management plan. Having a consultant microbiologist's input is extremely important with these complex infections. After that meeting, about 12.30 to 12.45, I go for a quick bite to eat. One hour later, about 1.30 p.m., I now have the diabetic foot infection clinic. This is a joint clinic with a specialist podiatrist and we look at patients with diabetic foot infections. These patients in particular would be on long-term IV antibiotics and therefore it allows me to bring in my experience as a pharmacist with regards to the IV antibiotics and the podiatrist experience with dealing with diabetic foot infections. Together we review patients, we look at the wound, we then look at the IV antibiotic options, we look at the microbiology culture and sensitivity tests as well as the inflammatory markers, and we try to make a joint decision with regards to the treatment of these patients. A lot of these patients would either be seen weekly or bi-weekly, and therefore it's very important to stay on top of these infections as they are treated in a community setting. During this clinic, it's my responsibility to provide these patients with blood forms, as well as taking microbiology culture and sensitivity tests. These include swabs of the wounds or taking any pus that's collected from these wounds. The clinic finishes around 5 p.m. where we typically see about six to seven patients. In some cases, we may need to review a few more patients virtually, and this would involve looking at their test results and looking at their microbiology to see if they're on the appropriate treatment. Once we're complete, this sets the day about 5 p.m. That's normally when I run to the microbiology lab and drop off the swabs that were taken during the clinic. And this summarizes my typical day as an antimicrobial pharmacist. My roles and responsibilities within every day of the week can change vastly. And that's why it's something I want to do more often. I hope you found it insightful.